On this live stream, I'm playing along with part 3 of the Schmodown Spectacular. We're getting started right now. Welcome back to Jafito's Movie Blog. I'm Jeff Malicki, and if you love movies as much as I do, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I bring you movie news, movie reviews, trailer reaction videos, box office predictions, and so much more. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button, and then click the little bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. And as I mentioned up top, this, this is going to be part three of the Schmodown Spectacular. Uh, we've got the stipulation match between top 10 versus team action. And then finally, the singles championship, which is going to be Christian Harloff versus Sam Levine. Uh, two great matches. I'm really looking forward to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab your whiteboard. Let's get ready to Schmodown. Jesus Christ, man. This shot doesn't look well composed to me at all. I mean, I, look at your look at your frame. Look at the knees it's on It's a fine frame. We've done this a It, it few just times. really it's seems fine. like you could use a class, some training, on the job sort of experience. I, don't I mean, agree. is this a Joel Schumacher <laughs> film or the Schmodown? Uh, it's a Schmodown, as clearly. It's a Schumacher it's down. Is this going to be an entirely Schumacher. Dutch angle shoot? I don't understand what I mean, I'm looking we get at. get creative with some of our shots, but this isn't that bad. This there's is actually quite creative, nice. and then there's yeah. creatively bankrupt. What's going on, everybody? This is Dale the Dude Gibbs. Oh my God, I'm over the moon, dude! It's like I found all sorts oh, of people, dude. dude. That's our code, dude. <laughs> hey, it's that guy Dale that says he's never met a band he didn't like. Give me your. Yeah, that's what we feel about your show, Dale. That's Gibbs disrespectful to Samsung. I... What are you? What oh, are you don't here, take man? dick pic. I was oh, invited man? here. Yeah, by, by who? Harloff. And yeah, others. Right. Carlos, not even here, man. Go talk to Tad. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Oh. I want to give him a little space here. Right? <laughs> oh, my give him a little space. Being, uh, he's being liberal when he says uh, gentlemen. Uh, now he's yeah. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Okay. Oh, we show that. you respect. Look at that. That's what you do as adults. Oh, yeah, yeah respect. Yeah. Is that what's losing? Learn about it sometimes. How to dress like that? Yes, yeah. put your hands on these. I mean, you look great. That's right, I look great. That's how it's done. Gorgeous. You don't go in like good, like, you know, the same suit as everyone else. It looks like it shrunk on you. What are you guys going to do? Every one of those buttons is going to pop. What are you guys going to do after you lose? I heard Wetzel's Pretzels is hiring. You guys want to check that's why you could be in their hey. commercial. You shut your mouth. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Who yeah. are you? Don't Dale. you take that. Get out of here. the dude. Yeah. No one knows who that Why don't is. You come on through there. Yeah. Come on through there. Thank you. You don't even John the Outlaw guys. Roca. Fuck out of here. Let's get out of here. Fuck. Get that Maybe fucking camera out of my face. Get ready, boys. Toodles. Get ready. Yeah. Ain't gonna be like Walk last away. time. Mm. Make sure you get out for recess. <laughs> Welcome back. It's video number three of video the three. Movie this has been a long day, but I want to knock all these out so I can Mark do some other stuff Woo! tomorrow before I go into work and everything else. So here we are. Got us to this point, Christian. We are gonna have a championship match in this vid that you may have something to say about. But right now, what a matchup we have in store for these fine folks. There's been so much that has gone down so far with the Patriots keeping their championship. Yeah. That was You've ridiculous. New Star Wars champion, a new inner geekdom champion. New factions are forming. Old factions are breaking up. People losing factions. I mean, it's been crazy. Managers are winning tournaments. It's been a crazy, crazy event so far, and we're almost done, but not quite yet. Now, you talk about this match. I got some investment in this particular video, but this particular match coming up here, you've got probably the biggest grudge match we've seen so far. It is team action, Ben and Drew. They are the finalists of the 2017 Ultimate Schmodown Tournament. They just lost to Above the Line, and they, in order to do that, in order in the semifinals, they beat top 10, the former champions. Well, they got another shot here, and the story behind it, let's just show you right now. <laughs> It's no longer about me. It used to be about the outlaw. It used to be about team top 10. It's not about that anymore. It's about leading the outlaw nation. And this is the next step for Matt and I to take team top 10 into the promised land with the outlaw nation. I don't know who I've got 
this game because I, I like both teams. I do like top 10. I don't want them to There's break up, but you know, both Ben and okay. Drew from shotgun. Team Action on, are friends of mine. I I like them both. They're both great guys. No, <laughs> I just There's love their characters. So teams coming out of the woodwork. We're here to yeah, play I don't know who I've got. One question for Mance and everybody else. Where's the belt? I think I'm gonna get this light edge to top 10 only because I don't want them to break up. I do like Roka and Nose oh, really quite awesome. a bit. But so that was the hardest thing for you to say in your <laughs> This is going to be life. tough. No, this is awesome. I, 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 I mean, know, I'm a massive pack, wrestling fan. How come say my name? Uh, during you, the WWL. Uh, could it be Q-Man again? Look at oh, it. Oh! Nice. Nice. Oh! oh. <laughs> Six. Uh, eight. What? They went even. Oh, what? They went even. No, this no, is insane. That, that, that was, that was him on the last one. Please, for the love of God, shut the fuck up. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. Hey, these are some head games going on here. Guy has gotten into Roka's right. head for sure. My head. Right. Are you fucking wow. kidding me? He's paying my head. I act this way for every match, right. you dumb shit. It must be the scoreboard getting in your head then. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is why uh, we played the showdown. All right, guys. <laughs> what primary villain does Spidey square off against in 2002's Spider-Man? <laughs> Crowd, please keep it down. We need oh, an please, answer. Just say the answer. That's good. Yeah, let's walk off. Uh, top ten is already leaving. I'm not sure if this guess, counts as a. Uh, I guess it would be the, the, the Green Goblin. And you're winning! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, wow. advancing into the three Emma all right that's three we got one more this ridiculous team this new team this sensation team what the hell are they called again I don't care top 10 will play the loser of the finals at the Schmodown spectacular for the number one contender spot whether it's above the line or action that's gonna happen and Attempt yeah. at being relevant again? Yeah, guys, the bathroom's <laughs> that way. Oh, that's yeah, the what bright lights, hey boys. How'd it go? Once again, it's good <laughs> to come in and crash the interview for the team that destroyed you. That's really cool. Destroyed? Yeah. Destroyed? You got yeah. a what's, what's team those glasses? Questions Stupid bills? In, the in there. Okay. And lost three questions, gentlemen, in your own category. You guys are gonna lecture they, us about shitting the bed in big moments? Are you kidding me? Is it again? Biggest the please, whole league. Just because please, you're in a high platform, we barely you lost lose you all the time. Spinner's choice, opponent's you choice. Bear, look, and got Team Jeopardy question. What I love is that you can Team say, Jeopardy. you go, we barely lost to you. You know what we can't say? We never lost to you. We're never going to lose to you. Get the fuck out of our interview. You guys are losers. You're still losers and you're still losing. Get out of here. Get out of my interview. Get out of my goddamn interview. <laughs> How about this? How about this little baby? What are you doing? See, other people are allowed to talk now, sweetheart. Oh, Here's no. the deal. We challenge you to a fucking We're not match. Gonna play, Let's dude. do it. You're a loser. Because you fuckers got lucky the first time around between us. Now play us. Knowledge versus knowledge. Don't you have some like 12 year olds go pick it on on Facebook, Roka? What do you mean? Hey, your girlfriend, a 12 year old girl? We hear your challenge. Right there? And fuck off. We're not playing you guys. You lost in a big match already. You're you don't bad. deserve to play us in the spectacular. You're spectacular. worse Period. than us. End of story. We're team action, not team yeah. no action. We either now. Yeah, we're one step closer than you are. Get yeah. out of here, Roka. Oh, you guys still here? Yeah, we're still here. Matt, Are we getting the broom? That's all right. There's a six pack of tall boys. Over there. Go drink them. Get out of here right now. <laughs> Some, somebody's diapers needs to be changed, John. Yeah, yeah, we'll help you. The fuck out of we'll help you in a short amount of time. Yeah. Enjoy your loss. Enjoy your loss. What the? Oh God. Hey Tim. Hi boys. How are you? What? what? The f what is this nonsense about you wanting us to play a team that we already annihilated? Look, man. Guys. Just because you took over for Christian doesn't mean you can hold his biddings, okay, man? That guy wants those idiots in every single title match. Hey, We're now they are the former champs. Yeah, we are like the next champs. Fifteen years ago, that was like when people smoked cigarettes before NBA games. <laughs> before <I was> born. <laughs> all right, all right. They're the former champs. Christian has promised them a spot in the spectacular, but I've got an idea. We can come to a compromise here. Both teams get something that they want. The winner gets all the spoils. We gotta think on this. All right. But I like where your head's at. Anything we want? Within reason. We can come to terms. We can make this work. This is my third match in the spectacular. I really made my name in the spectacular. So to come back again 
with this over my head, the possibility of us breaking up for a year, top 10 breaking up for a year is huge. But I wouldn't want Ugh, that would suck. I'd never do it half I, fast. I, like I don't to want that to all happen. Out stakes as high as possible. I'm, I'm here to do damage, okay? I'm annoyed. But and again, I, I love the guys in to play these team action. Because they're both friends of mine. Already. The great guys. I love their characters. And then they're gonna break up and cry I was about like, it. Who do I root for? I mean, what do you think is gonna happen in that? Wow. Is it visiting hours for the retirement home? Shoulder pads in that jacket? Yeah, yes. Are that? you intimidated? That's gorgeous. Is that a medium suit? Look at that. All right. It's barely on. Boys, boys, up. boys. Yeah. Matt and I, we didn't hesitate for a moment when T-Mac. They thought they surprised us with this stipulation. If they win. Yeah. Which they won't. If. <laughs> why even waste our time? We're going to just put it in writing. They will then get a number one contender match. But they don't understand that's how the top 10 works. We don't shy away from the toughest competition, and we don't shy away from the highest stakes. What we do is win, and we're going to win today. If, if Action wins, they will get a title match. We already, OK? You if you won. win, yeah, you'll you get a title it. match. Remember? That's what you asked for, that's what you're going to get. Remember 25 If you win, before, you will get you a title match. It. That's it. Like, again, guys. See winners walk in. You know, the only the only way that I lose a match is when I sit across the table from someone and they literally are a statue. If Sounds they win, right. they have they ever insisted, well, if they win, you guys break up for a year. Oh Ooh. Well, 365 is that, days. You guys probably won't even be alive by the end of it, know, honestly. Let, let the elderly folk discuss their applesauce. Team action, they got lucky last time with opponent's choice, spinner's choice, and the easiest three-point question in the history of mankind. Can you handle that? Just give us a contract. Yeah. All right. We're fine. Okay. What? Sign it. It's the fourth one right there. So we want a shot at them, toe to toe, information, knowledge versus knowledge. I've been drinking for a month <laughs> since we lost, but it's made me stronger. You guys want us to play a team that we already dispatched, a team that we and everyone else agrees does not deserve to be here. Do you know who deserves to be at the Spectacular? Us! Team it's Action! It's nice to be back. Yeah. It's nice to be amongst mostly friends. <laughs> mostly friends is what we're saying. Yeah. And now we need to uh, basically curb stomp the two children at the table. Yeah. They got babies. invited to the adults' table, and now they're complaining they're not getting the biggest uh, turkey leg. You two need to shut up. That's what you need to do. But here's the thing, Top 10. Here's what you were so stupid to do. You're going to challenge the team that beat you, and then you're going to have to disband for a year. Your fans are going to forget about you just like everyone else has forgotten about you. And Roka, don't think when you disband for a year it's done. I'm going to egg your house daily, okay? <laughs> 365 <laughs> days I'm going to egg your front door. Yeah, we got to break up for a year if we lose. Yeah, not even worried about it. Not even worried about it. Look, you take that out, and then it gets to their category, which they're named after. They do a weekly show, supposedly. Uh, I, yeah. I still don't see any proof of this. You're not the outlaw anymore, Roka, okay? You guys are going to be outlawed from this, this league. You're not allowed back, okay? We might even just call ourselves Top Ten. And you know what? If we lose a match, we'll change our name so Top Ten gets another loss. We have no <laughs> respect for you. I want you to understand that. Look me in the eyes. I have no respect for you. We're going to whoop. That ass. Mm -hmm. So hardcore, baby, so hardcore. You're gonna call back and cry to your family, to your girl, you cry back to your mom. Sh go back and cry to your tailor. Talk to your tailor. <laughs> to your tailor. Your yeah. Only one team deserves to be at the spectacular, and I got one last question. Where's, Where's the, the belt? belt? <laughs> this yeah. is ridiculous to me. That we gotta come back and prove ourselves to these fast talking fools. And we're in their hands, you can tell. Yeah. See, the last time we took it too serious, we were too close to the vest, we were too tight. We wanted to whoop them so bad we couldn't see straight. But now, people have been talking. I want the return of the man in black. Motherfuckers, I'm back. Boom. Here's the stipulations for all of you if you do not know what they are. Here we go. So, if top 10 wins, they will get a number one contender spot. They will, get, they will, take, they will have to battle someone for a number one contender spot. Most likely, top that, maybe MODOK. 
They, that will happen in February. They also were requested there is no opponents, no spinner's choice on the wheel that Action's agreed to. Now, okay. if Action wins, Action will get a title shot against the Patriots in February, and Top 10 will have to break up for a full year. Now, wow. you look at Team Action. Right, and they have the gift of gab, if you will. They know how to talk their way sure. around a game. But when they get under the White Hot Spotlight, I think a lot of people earlier in the year question if they could handle the pressure. They certainly have done that. That's, That's one of the like, reasons why I, they're favored today. Who do Interesting I root of for, note, man? Their team oh, action. Yeah. The action like adventure teams. category not always like leading four guys. to that. It, wasn't it in will the finals. not be on the wheel this time. Yeah. So Team Action will have to show us their breadth of knowledge. Well, yeah. They, well, look, it's just to be upfront too. The the competitors, the teams are allowed to pick a strength that they want to have on the wheel. And we'll action, consider it. Action chose not to have it on there. Yeah, they so didn't want it. That is something that should be known going into Get it out of here. this so match. So they took and action off the wheel. it is going to be something. And also, what you've seen throughout this entire event, Dale the Dude. Who is a he is a reactor, he is a fan, and he has been getting abused this entire event. But it looked like it looked like he was gonna get abused once again and just bullied by team action. Top ten they 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 stepped in, they took care of him, and he's gonna be walking them out today here at the spectacular. And with that, I'm ready to go. Oh, I am ready. I I'm ready to go. Something. I don't know if there's a horse in the studio or if it's just all the crap that Action is talking. Let's have it, Christian. All right, here's the tale of the tape. Team Action, movie release dates, action movies, Oscar movies, and picking on poor reactors. <laughs> and then you have Team Top Ten. They're cool picks, guys. I mean, sports, I, I love their characters, and but they are both saving poor reactors. Good friends and <laughs> well, isn't that cool nice guys. Of them. All right, so with that. Are you ready? Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. Get the thing going. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, it's time, time for, for the, the movie, movie trivia, trivia showdown. <laughs> Three rounds in the team division. Introducing first. First. Representing the horseman. This shit is with a record yeah. of six wins, four defeats. They are the 2017 Ultimate Schmodown semi-finalists. The former movie trivia Schmodown team champions, Mighty Matt Nose and the Outlaw John Roca team. Top 10. Oh, it's Dale himself. It's Dale the dude walking him out. Look at Dale the dude. Hi, He's reacting. Dale the dude is reacting. Dale the dude is here. He is. Fans brought signs. But they're he awaiting is. their heroes. Yeah, look at that. Look at Dale the dude. Look. Oh, <laughs> there they are. They are the former champions. Top 10. Top they got 10. got an edge to him. Top 10 taking care of Dale you the dude. You said saving reactors living up to the front. They are. Absolutely. There's some. They're, Look, you look at look at the signs in the crowd. Pizza guys get the most action. Roka in the streets, outlaw in the sheets. Whoa, it's unbelievable. All right. Unbelievable. They brought some fans. This means a lot to this team. Matt Nose called me the next day and said, I don't care what it has to do, get this match done. And they they really made it done. They went to the new commissioner at that. They got the contract. They all feel exactly feel good about this match. That's right. And like any great set of comedians, they brought their own audience here to the show to warm it up just a little bit. <laughs> And their opponents, representing the Action Army and the Popcorn Talk Here we Network, go. with a record of five wins, two defeats, and two knockouts. Yeah, buddy. Give it up for Ben, the boss, Bateman, and Dastardly True Guy T. There's a There's fans out there. Going, it there's seems fans. like. Oh, that's the booze. There's the booze. And booze. now some booze rain in. Yeah. There's the, the crowd booze. divided on action. And Drew Guy, teams, not shy about flipping the crowd nah, off and started booing him. These teams do not <laughs> like one another at all. Good to see wow. you back, Commish. Well, not the Commish. Not the Commish anymore, but thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're so modest. Well, it's not. You don't, don't even have a suit jacket. <laughs> You're so modest. That's what I'm saying. Welcome back, boys. Good to see you, Roka. Good to see you, too. Good to see you, Dad. Now, shout out to. Uh, <laughs> yes. We'll have dinner after this, son. Shout out to uh, Ashley and Tim. They gave me this nice little coaster. Congratulations on your marriage. We 
action, action. doing a fart sound. Uh, Tim Franco uh, and Ashley, congratulations. And comments, it's awesome. Yeah, you guys are unless awesome. you piss Roka off, in which he will go to war with you on Twitter. Wow, there we go. We are going through three rounds. Round number one, Mark, what do we got? In round number one, go each round team one. is going to hear questions to the field. Each question is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There are eight questions in round one. Once you hear the question asked to the field, please write down your best attempt at a correct answer on the whiteboard. When we ask you to reveal your individual answer, please show the whiteboard to the camera at the same time you verbalize it in front of the microphone. Keep in mind there is no stealing in round one. All right, so team action. Are you guys ready? Yeah, absolutely, Christian. Deja vu. And team top 10, are you ready? Top 10, Boumaier. Yeah, we let's are. Let's do this. Then let's get, let's get ready, ready to, to Schmodown. Here we go now, guys. Three rounds. Round number one in the category of animated. In what Pixar film will you hear the quote, congratulations, San Francisco, you've ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians, and now you. First what? I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that a JT? That's a, sounds like a JT. I thought right no, they were laughing. The yeah, I couldn't hear it either. Did you guys hear the whole question? We, did you, you hear the last three oh, I words? I heard the question real well. The last three words? I heard all of it. Ben, you didn't hear it? Ben, did you hear the question? I legitimately didn't hear it. Yeah. Action heard it. So you're, you're going to use the repeat. Yeah. I okay. Didn't hear it. All right, here's yeah, the repeat. Yeah, we didn't hear it. In what Pixar Please. film will you hear the quote, congratulations, San Francisco, you've ruined pizza. First the Hawaiians, and now you. I didn't hear it. I believe it. that would be inside so out. They didn't hear it. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. got to keep an eye on all these mouthy four, individuals. Three, two, one. Pens down. Drew. Inside out. Correct, John. I don't know. Uh, and Ben. It's gonna be uh, inside out. And Matt. Inside, inside out. out. There you go. Two one. Matt two knows, one. likes his Pixar yep. movies. Two one. I have one of these things. Yeah, hey, uh, Christian. One. I don't have one of these. Um, blind. Never mind. All right here. Oh, we go. that one's mine. We can. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be a class act. Okay. Chair. Christian, a lot of squirreliness on the table thus far. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot at stake. Like here. they're gathering acorns in the movie Ice Age. There's a title shot, a potential break. Second most popular <laughs> Pixar film. Here we go. But still, was the wrong answer. <laughs> Come on, let's go. In the world of comedies. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> comedies by professionals who know how to do comedy. What 90s film features Kevin Klein running the country as President Bill Mitchell? When were those Oh, movies? um. <laughs> they're, they're in traffic. You know the five. Speaking of that, five. Oh, four, what a segue! Three, two, Good man. one. John, Dave? the question, please. All right. All right, in the world of comedies, what 90s film features Kevin Klein running the country as President Bill Mitchell? This isn't right when I have it. Five, four, Drew Guy <laughs> showing early I'm content. second guessing myself. Roca. Dave. Correct. Got there. Correct. And uh, Ben. Uh, Dick. And correct. Matt. Dave. Got it. And Drew. Dick. I wrote Dave. Dick. Wow. <laughs> so look at that. Top 10 taking the lead here. They were down and now they're up. So three to two. Christian, I think we just saw the difference between a decade of age. More. All right, here we go. Next question. Family films. Family films. Always. Which Oscar winner's first leading role was in the next Karate Kid? Oh, uh. Family film. You got to wonder if a decade plus of life. Hilary Swank. Top 10 has lived. Five, help them against team action. Four, three, Can you repeat the question. Two, one. Another down, fuck. please. All right, okay. and Ben. Is it Hillary Swank? Correct, Matt. Uh, I couldn't pull it. And yeah, Drew. that's not right. What I have on this. All right, and John. Hillary Swank. Hillary Swank. Okay, so there you go. Top ten going up by one point because Roka hits and it, and so does Ben. Four to three. Next question. Okay, in the world of dramas, what drama had the tagline "Fear can hold you prisoner, hope can set you free"? It's just made we see teams holding on a little too tight. They, they seem a little keyed up. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. And we got Matt. Nada. Did yeah, you have it? Nada. Don't Shawshank know. Redemption? Correct. Ben. Oh, Schindler's list. Right. Schindler, wow. Schindler's list. Right. So only Roka gets it That's there. Right. So five, three. Shawshank. Would you, five, three. Yeah, Roka, Would you accept the Shawshank R? <laughs> no, so, yeah. I started writing the probably time not. right now. I've probably. lost on similar yeah. predicates. <laughs> probably not. Good. All right, uh, here we go. Next question here. It's a good I film. I heard it's, it's a good me. film. You. I didn't either. You. Right. Never me. read that. Next question of Action Adventure. Shh. Action Adventure. Who performed the tune, We Don't Need Another Hero, in the Mad, in Mad Max, oh. Thunderdome? 
Yes, I like an old person. In the Mad Max in the, beyond in the, the Thunderdome. You know, do you ever smoke the grass? Because that's what I feel like. We right ate now. at a restaurant on Sunday. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now let's go to uh, Drew. I wrote Max. Max is incorrect. <laughs> uh, Tina Turner. That is correct. Ben. That's right. I got nothing. And Matt. Tina Turner. Look at that. Top 10 is tearing that. away here. Top 10 is scared, tearing away. <laughs> You have to admire Drew Guy's half-court shot of writing down Max yeah. because it's in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Right. It's a hell of an attempt. Here we go. Next one. It's Next one. Single name artist. The world go. of comic book <laughs> movies is up next. This is right. comic book movies. What actor plays rookie officer John Blake in The Dark Knight that was, Rising? Uh... I asked that Lake Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. Five, Five. Your friends. Four. Three. Joseph Gordon Levitt. Two. One, pens down, pens down, and okay. I so, got nothing. Uh, hold on, oh, you broke a nothing, Ben. It's Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That's correct, Matt. That's what I started right, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, but, but he you did. don't have the whole thing. You right. have it, yeah. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You got it. All right, so they're coming right. back. Fantasy sci-fi. What did the father and son use to communicate across decades with in frequency? place in Queens. A ham radio? Never saw, is it really? Yeah. Bayside was also the high school in Saved by the Bell. Nobody asked me that. Five. Sir Deadpool, Merry Christmas, my friend. Oh, that's terrible. Three, two, one, Ben. Actually, I forgot uh, to turn off the chat. Yep. Right, that's correct. Yep. Huh? Ham radio. Yeah, correct. I wrote a radio, radio that waves. Radio works. Yep. And ham radio. There you go. All right. So, All right. nine, is it nine, eight? Take it. Nine, eight? They it both got it right. Like, Actually, like, both got it right. What is, is it a contraption? It's a ham radio. Your last question in round one is going to be from the category of new releases. Yeah. All right. Your question is, who provided the voice for Alpha 5 in 2017's Power Rangers? If Perry Nemiroff is still here, she's very excited. Excuse me. A Bill Hader? Power Rangers. Oh, Don't God. Sue. Shit. Please and five. I'm taking a guess. Four. Yeah. My three. Guess wrong. Two. One. Pens down, Drew and Matt. Brian Cranston. Incorrect. Drew. Nope. Christopher Plummer. Right Incorrect. Nope. <laughs> uh, John. I see what John. you did there. <laughs> it was Kevin Spacey originally, but John. <laughs> John. Bill Hader. That's correct. There it is. And Ben. Brian Cranston. Wow. So Can three point lead. John? Really? All right, Three six out of eight. Perry Nemeroff for talking me into that movie. Three-point lead there as we get to round number two. Mark, how does two work? Six out of eight. Bringing out the it's wheel. Good round for us. Bringing out the, the wheel of death. Bringing out the wheel here. Dale the dude has some go. planted right, Dale. Dale. Look at Dale. Look at Dale bringing switch. out the wheel there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah switching it up, and Dale just brought out that wheel really nice. I don't know if I'm happier for Dale the dude getting pub or if I'm more concerned for Copster. Talk about putting wheels on this thing. It's the heaviest <laughs> thing in the entire world. <laughs> oh, there you go, Dale. Now, you got Who is that? That's Dale the Dude. Yeah. It's not a bit. I didn't ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> Dale the dude just messed. That fucking guy just touched my hair. He, touched, he, did. he did touch your hair. <laughs> he just yeah. touched your hair. If this is hair. Saturday Night Fever, that is a illegal. Oh, Drew, Drew. It's oh. a DQ right there. The Drew, Drew is steaming. I know Drew, and no one touches the hair. All right. my well, fucking hair. All right. Here uh, go. Team Ash is going to have to calm Attica. down and Outlaw getting on the same page as but Top what's, 10. What's really interesting here is it's not Top 10 getting into the head of action. It's themselves or, or Dale the Dude. Yeah, you know, we saw some really good movie <laughs> knowledge, but we also saw a lot of tense answers and people who weren't writing them down in time right. this is just a very odd round one as we move on to round two each team six out of eight was not bad that but their wheel each category in the wheel consists of see how we do in round two questions from said category each question is worth two points if you're not sure of the answer you can check to multiple choice at which point the value of the question will go down to one point keep in mind team members that you are allowed to confer on each and every question there is stealing available in round two Top 10, you are not sitting in the favorite seat. However, you do have a 10-7 to 7 lead that you currently enjoy. Would you like to spin first or defer to team action? Uh, we will spin first. There you go. You're going to spin first? Yep. Give it a spin. You want to do it? Yeah, go ahead. Playing okay. from behind. All right, Matt knows. Right. Big spin, spin, Matt. The That's a good spin by Matt. Spin is Matt in. Knows. Solid build. Oh, it's a subtle. Solid build it's a subtle on subtle spin, there. Multiple rec league oh, championships. Coming, coming, of of coming of age. Coming of age. Coming of age. Spin again. You guys like to stay on coming. Uh, Matt knows is already getting up. Yep. And <laughs> spin again. <laughs> Matt knows with an right, angry spin, spin that in. time. Not a fan of matriculating through life. And it could be dramas. Dramas, dramas. dramas is okay. We have right. landed on dramas. Uh, All right. 
Uh, How many we get? Six? You get six. Six okay. questions. Christian George Harloff will be administering the ever, questions so. to Team Top Ten. Six yeah. questions here, boys. What 1992 film follows the lives of desperate real estate agents over the course of two days? What? Five. Right. Four, Any multiple, multiple choice. choice. A, I have the no player. Idea. B, Glengarry Glenn Ross. C, Howard's End. D, The Crying Game. Go ahead. Glengarry Glenn Ross. One point. There you go. Yeah. I directed right. that Tongue twister, point. that movie. You remind me a lot of Jack Lemmon in that movie, Roka. Uh, I do. What, <laughs> movie, <laughs> what movie features Nicolas Cage's character waking up in an alternate universe in which he is married to his girlfriend playing played by Teal Young. Oh, um, The Family Man. Correct. Yeah. All right. I never saw that. I mean, wow. it was so good. In Witness, when leaving the Amish farm, what, what does Harrison Ford's character accidentally hit with his car after passing out from a gunshot? Yeah. All right, multiple, multiple choice. choice. A, a barn. B, a tree stump. C, a birdhouse. D, a wooden fence. I don't remember. Fence. Uh, well, sorry, wooden, yes, wooden fence. Incorrect. For the steel. Here you go, tree stump. Birdhouse. 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 They rebuilt Sorry, it. It's Sorry. fine. All right. Question number four. Son of a bitch. Question four. In, in Almost yeah. Famous, yeah, right? after a rough night, the cast sings along to what Elton John song while on the tour bus? Tiny Dancer. For two points. <laughs> we also would have accepted Tony Dancer. Yeah, after the last one. All right. Yeah. All right. Edward Norton plays a violent sociopath that goes by Roy in what film? All right, Primal Fear. Two points. Yeah. Didn't even need multiple yeah. choice on that one. Oh, last question. Oh, last yeah, question. Right. All right, so right. here we go. Yeah. Okay. In Good Will Hunting, mm -hmm. Will leaves Robin Williams a note that's saying that he had to go see about a girl. What was Robin's response? Mm -hmm. Need the exact quote. Oh, oh, exact quote? The exact yeah. quote. What does he say to what was Robin's response? Keep in mind, you can check the multiple choice. Five, four, three. Yeah, multiple choice. A, that a boy, go get her. No. B, I'll be damned, he did it. No. Son of a bitch, she stole my line. There you go. Well, will you look at that? He's gone. C. C is correct. One point. There you go. Those were all good options. Like, I would have bought Robin delivering any one of those lines. Is that six? That is six. All right, six questions there now. And look at that. 11-point lead right now for top ten. I mean, it's sometimes it can get in the head of a younger team. Team Action is exactly that. They're trailing by a lot, but they do have six questions. Team Action had a wonderful run. This season, but these are also these are former team champions they're dealing with here. So here we go. Ben Bateman will be giving the spin. Spin is in for action. Spin by Bateman. Spin was fine. Boo action. this man! Boo this man! <laughs> the wheel spins and, and it's gonna uh, land. Can be coming of age. Coming of age. age. Again, so the that's category that again. they eschewed in top ten spin. They're still coming of age. How can they choose these? I don't know. <laughs> these kids. They're going again. Do you have a word of day calendar? Yet. They're going again. Eschewed. Eschewed. Brett. Eschewed. Here we go. Coming of age. Christian, it could be coming around that way, though. Ron Howard. Ron Howard. Movies. All right. Ron Howard movie. What is Solo? A Star Wars story. Action. Who's looking to make a little bit of run. They ha they really need a good round two. Can't have struggled in their last too. couple matches here. In the Han Solo movie. Sorry. You <laughs> right? don't know that yet. <laughs> Your first question. Who played racer Nikki Lauda in the movie? Uh, Chris Hemsworth. Daniel Bruhl. Two points. Two points. All right. Okay. Nine point lead. Well, we'll go fast. It's a good Hemsworth. movie. It's a good movie. We're in there. Top ten. Your next question. Team Never action. saw the movie. Which so. Ron Howard film featured Keanu Reeves, Joaquin Phoenix, and Rick Moranis? Ooh. Five. Four. Multiple Three, choice. Two. Multiple choice. I can provide that. Was it A, Gung Ho, B, Cocoon, C, Parenthood, or D, Willow? Parenthood. Parenthood. For one, one point. point. Okay. They trail by eight. Four questions remain. Each question worth two points. You do the math. We could be tied at the end of this. Your next question. Which Ron Howard film was a remake of a 1956 film starring Donna Reed and Leslie Nielsen? 
Ooh. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, multiple choice. Is it A, Cinderella Man, B, Far and Away, C, The Paper, or D, Ransom? Five, four, I'm not sure. three, two, one. Far and Away? That is incorrect for, for one steal. point of steal. Can we hear the choices again? You certainly may. Is it A, Cinderella Man, B, Far and Away, C, The Paper, or D, Ransom? Ransom. That's a big point. One That's point. That's a big oh. point. One point. I don't know. They didn't say it. No, they did. Who know. plays the scientist who proves Madison is a mermaid by splashing her with water oh. in the movie Splash? Oh, oh my God. Please. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I have not seen this movie in years. years. Five. Like at least 20 four, years since I saw that. Three, two, one. Tom Hanks. That is correct. incorrect. Oh. Eugene Levy. Two yeah. points. That's what I'm talking about. You know, yeah, Christian strategy, such a big part of this game. Interesting the team action took a shot with Tom Hanks, yeah. seeing the reaction of top 10. Top 10 clearly knew the answer. They didn't talk it down to multiple choice. They find themselves in a very, very tough spot here. They need to hit some points here. They're on the verge of getting knocked out in the second round. Here we go. Two more questions in the world of Ron Howard movies. Opie grew up, became a director. These are his movies. <laughs> Sam Rockwell and Oliver Platt play investigators. And Kevin Bacon is a high-ranking political official in what Ron Howard film? It's not coming. Five, four, <laughs> and three. Study up on my Ron Howard films, apparently. Choice. Is it A, The Dilemma, B, Frost Nixon, C, The Missing, or D, Far and Away? Five, four, Frost Nixon. Three, two, A. That is incorrect. We go to top 10 for the steal. Frost Nixon. Give him another point. point. All right. And so here we we're are. We're on the so verge. Team action needs, team action cannot go to multiple choice. They cannot go to multiple choice in this. They have to hit it or they will lose by knockout. Here is the question. Your question that you need to get two points on to stay in the match is. What Midwestern United States city is the setting oh. for Ron Howard's backdraft? Great film, but again, it's been 15, 20 years since I've seen it. Um, okay, win by knockout, and they'll get that number one contender spot. Five, four. I'm gonna three, say Chicago. Two. Chicago. We're still got a game going on. They hit it. Still got Staying a game alive. going on, huh? Staying alive. How about these plucky gents? Ten points. They did this. They did this against above the line. They almost came back. We get ourselves into round number three. They avoid the knockout. Right. We get to round number three. Here we go. Round number three, Christian. The crowd is buzzing. Action is just recovering. And Team Top Ten laughing their tuchuses up because it's still a ten-point lead for the Team Top Ten lads in round three. Each team is going to give us a series of numbers that range from one to twenty. We need three numbers from each team because top 10 okay. has a pretty sizable lead. They're going to be giving us their numbers first. Each number corresponds to a movie trivia category up here at our answer desk. Your first number is going to be worth your two-point question. The next one is the three-point question. The last one is the five-point question. Once we tell the team what the movie category is, the team must select who is going to be answering alone the two-pointer. The opposite team member will be answering the three-pointer. You're only allowed to confer with your team member on the five point question. Team top 10, like I said, you guys are up by an even 10. What three numbers would you like to feel lucky today? Uh, we want um, four, two, and 12. Four, two, and- All even numbers, interesting strategy, Christian. Action. You screwed me over the last time I picked it up. Action. Do uh, one, three, and seven. One. Three. Oh, they went odds. One, three, oh, and seven. All right, so we're gonna start with action. Who Even needs to hit ads. all three of their questions to avoid the TKO. That is a tall task. If they miss one, if they, they just need to tie it with all three, if they miss one, then top ten will win the TKO. Can we say right now before we start round three, this might be, this would be the greatest comeback if they in fact could pull out a victory well, in overtime yeah, it's, somehow. It's going to be hard. They need, okay. Top ten would have to miss all three. You start with team action. You guys chose number one. That's Disney. That is Disney. Who's oh. taking Disney? All right. Disney. All right, here you go, Drew. In order to stay in the game with Disney, 
Who is directing the 2019 live John action? John Favreau. The Lion King remake, even though Bibiani doesn't think it's live action. The remake of Lion King. The upcoming, excuse me, should say. Yes. Upcoming 2019 Lion King remake. John Favreau. Oh, come on, Drew. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Who Ooh. is directing the 2019 live action The Lion King remake? Come on, Drew, you know this. Five, four, three. Sean Levy. And you're winner! Wow. By way of technical markets! Oh. Oh, no. oh no! It appears that Drew Guy has tackled the outlaw John Roca. Drew Guy, Ben Bateman having to restrain his teammate, John Roca. He looks to be okay, but clearly shaken from the physicality that has just taken place. It was a movie trivia match, and all of a sudden Drew Guy crossed the line and made it physical. Tackling John Roca. You okay, you're all right, John. You're right. Roca is now walking off the stage. Christian, I'm just not sure what I witnessed. It appears that Drew Guy was about to shake Matt No's hand and instead went after Roca and he, took him to the ground. He physically tackled him. I mean, like that was a that was a strong that was a strong strong tackle. Commissioner there. Thad Williams was Thad right Williams, there on the scene. Thad happy Williams to came see out. that. Thad that was ugly, folks, and we apologize. Oh, I mean, everybody. I mean, but you got to give it credit to everybody who just was on on them right away. I'm happy away. you're on that side. I mean, I'm, right. I'm happy that. I'm I'm happy Roca wasn't hurt. He's an older gentleman, and I'm, I'm happy that when he went down. <laughs> well, John, I mean, John put his hands up. John didn't fight back. John no, just no, it was up. a very classy part in the hour, yeah. which is something you're not going to hear come out of my mouth a lot. Matt knows just kind of bewildered uh, after the whole thing, as was Ben Bateman. But Ben Bateman, right. a little bit of class restraining, well, Drew Guy. That, not sure what got into him. Turn on the chat room there. until There's got to be some repercussion for that. Next match. I wouldn't stand for it. I don't think Thad's going to. You know, either. Ken Knapsack is a security officer, but he's <laughs> heel now. So Deadpool said, if every sponsor's choice, I would choose opponent's choice because I'm that confident. Uh, but team top 10 finds themselves one more time in a number one contenders match. The question is, who will they play? Will it be team top that? Will it be Modoc? One of those two teams will indeed be playing top 10, most likely top that. We'll find that out in the beginning of next season, but they're right back at it again. Team top 10. Let's go back to Emma Fight, who is standing with Team Top 10 and maybe Team Action. I don't, I don't know, we'll find out. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? We are here with Team Top 10, who are thankfully still all in one piece yeah. after that match. I mean, what happened out there, Roka? I don't know, it was a surprise. I think Andrew was just mad he'd missed a couple of questions and then missed that question for them to lose. I, I didn't think we were gloating at all. We were just pointing to the well, people who had come to support us. I was us. trying to shake their damn hands. Yeah, yeah. too, before we got around the table. Listen, and then all of a sudden, he came like a black speeding bullet right on top of me. Where, the, where are the worker comp for forms, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's, I think he might have a back injury. I, I, think, we, I think we should be claiming you know, something, something on this damage. No, it's really ridiculous. Like conversation we, security we never thought we should have to no, have during no, the movie no, Trivia Schmodown. This the is man who can answer that question. That. Interim happened? commissioner. Hey, I'm, I'm so sorry that that happened. You direct I that never, at him. Dude, I am, I, I, on behalf of the entire league, I apologize for what happened. They will be dealt with, I promise you. This is this 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 cannot physical physicality in this league is not this is not what this is part of. You want to get tackled? No, God, no. <laughs> me and Emma will tackle you right no, now. So no, 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 back no, 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 no. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm gonna handle them. And congratulations on the win. Thank you. Do not let this soil. You guys had a win, a very strong win, and I I congratulate you for that. And because of that, your next match is going to be against Top That. Ah, oh. formerly Team IGN, Jim oh. and Eric. That's a that's okay. a good team. Yes, right. good team. And, and and as we said in the contracts, that will be a number one contender match. The winner is the number one contender. So. Yeah, oh, I want to read the fine print on those contracts and see what's in there. Yeah. There was you nothing I mean? about tackling. We may I need to add a that. couple more clauses about physical interaction. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. I'm I'm gonna go talk to them and I'll congrats. Yeah, man, who would have thought? Movie trivia showdown, full contact sport, all of a sudden, or at least according to Team Action, but. 
All I, of I that. I will give it to him, though. He did that in dress shoes out yeah. there. Yeah, he did. On wood floors. So that yeah. was kind of impressive. And not but like fuck him. fancy so. dress shoes with lots of traction or anything. Like, no. there could have been a big slide, but you know what? Well, there was when he hit me. Props to him. <laughs> uh, anyway, props to you guys for defeating Team Action. Proving to everyone, I think, that them beating you in the Ultimate Showdown Tournament was the luck of the draw, shall we say. Well, yeah, I think it was an anomaly. And Matt and I have talked about this. We talked about it in the pre I'm sorry, Matt, you take it. I'm a, I'm a little... You still feeling it? Yeah, yeah. That was a hard hit, guys, young man. Ugh. Yeah, seriously. Listen, we're old men. We're old men. We're old men. I, that's a hardwood floor. It exactly. Mm, yeah. and you took you took it like a champ. Thank you. I, well, you know, you could have retaliated and fought back, but no, you didn't. No, 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 no. But I, you did. I know that anger, and I didn't want us to get in any kind of trouble with yeah. the commissioner. And, you know, he they pulled him off me. Dale the Dude, thank you, Dale the Dude. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, everybody who jumped in there, the commissioner, to pull him off me. I know. But it was uh, it was insane. Um, I was dumbfounded. I just stood there. I was like, what, the, what, what in the world is going on right yeah, now? Yeah. Madness. Anyway, yeah, we, we we felt that they got lucky in the first match. Yeah, no. We, and but we we did not take them lightly this time around. We were more focused, more relaxed, and I think that showed in our game. Yeah, yeah without a doubt, without a doubt. And how are you guys feeling now that you are getting another chance at a number one contender seat in your match against Top That? Well, I'm looking forward to the payday that he's going to get for that right there. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll take a little vacation. We got some time off. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, whoever whoever is next. Whoever's next. Hopefully they're not assholes like the team we've now had to play two times straight. Yeah. I have no idea. Uh, but we will we will take any team that they put before us. Yeah, the thing is about us is we play anybody who's in front of us. Mm -hmm. We want belts, we want championships. We thought we were unfairly taken out of that team tournament. We would have given uh, above the line everything they could have handled in that final. And yep. we saw what amazing work they did in the final themselves against the Patriots. The Patriots still have the belt. And when they won that belt against Above the Line, I felt uh, to myself it was destiny for us to win again because no one should take out the Patriots but Team Top 10. So right top that, take right. that, whatever your name is, boy band group, whatever your name is, <laughs> IGN, well, they GNI. Got moves. They you got took moves. David Griffin from me. You're they not going to take my title from me. I'll tell you that right now. We're going to go right through you. And then Team Patriots, wake the fuck up because I'm back. Team Top 10 is back, and we're coming for yeah, you. We're coming Get for you, shape. communists. Get we're coming shape. for you, communists. Okay, well, it seems that the outlaw is back in full force, oh. and I uh, <laughs> look forward to you guys taking Big out check. Team Big check. Top That, and then maybe the Patriots after that, once you've um, recovered from your unfortunate workplace injury here today. John Roca, congratulations again to you, Team Top 10, and we will be Thank right you. back with Team Action. And we were going to be back with team action, but it seems that thanks to his own actions at the end of the match, Andrew Guy has been escorted from the building. Well-deserved actions, Emma. Let's call it what it is. Well, I mean, he straight up just attacked John Roca. You know this isn't like a full contact sport. This is a this is a movie trivia. Listen, John walked out on Andrew at a very young age, and he's got a lot of pent-up anger built up on this, okay? <laughs> okay, why does everyone here in the Schmodown seem to think that people who are not related to them are their actual fathers? Am I here to make you laugh? You think I'm joking right now, Emma? Let's I, talk about the match. Okay, let's talk about the match. So, you guys did pretty okay in, in round one. Tough break in yeah, round okay. two there. Yeah, it wasn't our best round, I guess. Yeah, it. it's okay. You pulled out Chicago. You stayed alive. Look... When you have to play a team that you don't feel deserves to play you, we compare this to, to, to wrestling, to boxing, to anything else. Okay, we got tempted into playing this ridiculous match by that ridiculous standing commissioner, Tab. What? I don't know, like, Tab? Yes. Tab? That like idiot the that diet soda from the 80s, Tab? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was. So, the, the name's Tab, by the way. Look, Sorry. Tab. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's not advantageous for us to play against a team like that in any situation. You throw a contract in front of our face, try to tempt us into playing these idiots. Well, this is exactly what happens, Tab. We have too much no. to lose in a situation Benjamin, like this. What? You guys signed the contract, and I want you to let you know, I do not hold you personally responsible. But Andrew Guy has been eliminated and disqualified from the league for the next three months. This is a three-month suspension Ooh. because physicality does not work in this league this is not a full contact sport like emma so eloquently put it and his that actions sucks, had to be dealt with i do like you so guys as you personally responsible, a person but your partner is I mean, gone and you cannot compete in the team with him for the stuff next three i want you to know something tab i understand i but, would encourage andrew but. to do that again 10 times out of 10. do we need to call security to deal with ben i think, I think tab can handle Phys words am i wrong verbal 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 assault is fine Physical assault is where I draw the line. So just so just so you know, you're on your own for three months. Fine. Okay. Happy. All right. 
<laughs> I gotta go fill out a thousand pages of paperwork. So okay, thanks, Andrew. Hey, Commissioner, kindly get the fuck out of my interview. All right. Well, then, with that uh, little piece of information just dropped on you, are you going to continue in the singles here, or are you going to stay out of the league in solidarity with your bro? Listen, mark my words today, right now, this second, I'm going to hold that singles belt by the end of 2018. Team Action will be back, and the Action Army has two Crusaders right now, okay? Understand me? I will be back. This ridiculous situation... When you, when you lose to a team like Above the Line who bores the shit out of you, they just sit there and stare you down, you have no resolve, no reason to want to keep playing when your next match is against a team you already beat. I'm so frustrated with dealing with ridiculous team matchups. Just give me a just give me a singles match, okay, Emma? Okay. That's all I want. All right, we'll, we'll talk to the commissioner about getting you a singles match. Way to stay in the game there, Ben. Thanks, Emma. You're welcome. <laughs> it's been a hard day for everybody involved, and... Uh, you know, I hope uh, Roka broke his hip. So, anyway, <laughs> thanks a lot. Action Army for life. Where's the fucking belt? Okay, well, there we go. Typical team action, or in this case, just Ben Bateman leaving the interview before it is over. So, I guess that's back to you, Mark and Christian. Well, look at that as we are back oh, here. Boy. As we are back, Thad Williams laying the band hammer down. Andrew Guy apparently is going to be suspended for three months. For three months. I think it deserves suspension. It might have even voted for war, but that's, that's one of the reasons why Thad is a very good uh, stand-in commissioner, right. if you will. When he needs to assert his authority, he can do what he just he did. did. He did. It was a good call. I mean, you can't physically assault someone here in movie trivia. And he... Uh, so he did that. His temper got the best of him. He, it almost got the best of him last time they met in the interview, and it got the best of him this time. And, it, and of course, he's frustrated. It was a TKO. They lost to a team that they, they don't really like very much. But you can't. You, you just John Favreau is yeah. kind of popular, Drew. Yeah, John Favreau. Yeah, he should have gotten answer, that. By the way, if you didn't know that. So that's it. I got, uh, I got something to do. Oh, you're leaving, but we have one more match. I got something to do. Oh, wait a minute. You're competing and defending the belt and hopefully getting well hydrated in your defense of the title against Sam the Inglorious One, Sam Levine. Christian George Harlov, I wish you all the luck in the world. Show the promo. We're going to take a break and show you guys a promo while he gets set. Hey, pal, go get him, my man. Thank you. Represent Schmoes. No, here's a quick promo of the upcoming title match and the culmination of the Schmodown Spectacular, a part two of the new batch. The Movie Trivia Schmodown League uh, has grown by leaps and bounds. When I joined last year, and what it is now is this incredible group of competitors and movie geeks and like-minded people who just love movie trivia. And we are supported by the most incredibly intense, loyal, fierce, wonderful fans. And this spectacular is absolutely uh, the, the Schmodown's gift to them. today, Idiocracy! And your winner of the 2017 Free For All, the glorious one, Sam Lofty! loser of Riley and Roca from the Spectacular. I want the loser of those men because I, I owe them both. With Roca, he beat me. I had 19 points. He just beat me. And then Riley, Roderick, Roderick. I'm, I'm edging my way up. I'm trying to get it. That reaction was awesome. And your winner! Who do I have in this match? Hella for Sam Levine. Levine. 
I don't know who I want in this one either. Sam, how are you, man? I'm good. How you doing? Good one. Oh, thank you very it was, much. It was good. You beat you thank beat you so that oh. you beat that little evil, and I'm going to tell you that after your interview, I'm going to do a strut in front of them with the belt because I know how bad he wanted it, and now uh, he can't. So yeah. look for that. Um, listen, man, you have had a hell of a year. It's it's something else. It really is. I mean, yeah. you took you took. Dan Merle, you almost took Dan Merle the title. I went the distance. Went it was cold. Rocky one. I went the distance with the champ. That's all I wanted you to do. You take the free for all. Yeah. You take the ultimate showdown teams. Yeah. And now you take the ultimate showdown singles. I have no idea what's happening. It's crazy. And now we've talked about it. We have, we have talked about it many times. Yeah. You and I are going head to head for this thing, man. Oh man. boy. We kind of finally the, because we've talked about when I asked you to be part of this. I, yeah. I, I had deemed you the Tyson of this league. You did. You, had you did. Well, now you I, got a chance. Okay. Um, but I have now. I think I'm going to because I'm not commissioner the anymore. Right. I have a little bit of a new fire to in Sam Levine. So I think to me, what would be fun um, is how off has said be, because I think what would on be several good occasions is that the fact he doesn't that want to compete anymore. Thing. You right. really did, but um, I think now I do think I'm, I'm this will be his last match. I think match. in the fact that um, you are making a run for player of the year. Yeah. I would say someone. And then that he'll I be back as commissioner player. in 2018 next season. I don't know anyone saying that. I I, um, I, 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 I do I think say that I do, and I make a lot of the rules around here. But that's, uh, that's true. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's going to be close. Really about that. That's um, fine. I'm going to be all Star if Wars Christian and Arnold. Plays, that's fantastic. Uh, His hardest, no, I'm, I'm and of course, with you. I cannot wait to play. Going up I think it's going to be a lot of fun here. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a good match. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Good luck to you too. Also, that fire might be hemorrhoid, so you should. Yeah. Well, you know what? Fuck you, Sam. So you guys are aware, I am pre-taping this before the team title match has occurred. I don't know how that's going to play out. I sure hope that Drew and I are victorious, but this is mostly because I have defeated Little Evil himself, JTE, and I am about to go head to head with the commish himself, Christian Darth Harloff. And oh boy, it's going to be a great match. The pressure's off. Why? Because I was able to, as Thad likes to do, sign contracts, and I cannot be the commissioner. I can't do the rules until I lose this belt. So, I've been saying for a while now that I'm just here to play, and the Dan Murrow match was probably going to be my last, and then Dan decided he was going to take off. Um, well, when the best of all time says he's going to take off, you've got to try to fill his shoes. I think we, uh, I have had a, a somewhat similar run uh, with uh, with the former commish in that I came in, I was a little rocky at first, and uh, and then I, I, I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, and, uh, and it's just been a, a really lucky, fortunate, bullet-dodging run to get to where I am. And the commissioner helps write all the questions. So in a very similar way, I think we have had almost identical years. We're taping this at a time where I go in playing Sam, he might be the team champion. As of right now, I don't know what it's a store, but I'm certainly not putting it past Sam to do something like that. But I also know that Sam has weaknesses. I also know that I can exploit those weaknesses. I also know that Sam thinks too much. I also know how to play games with my opponents before I go into the match to make them think it's going to go one way when it ultimately goes another way. I know how to sell things. That's what I do. Nothing can take away the fact that I am the free-for-all winner, the ultimate Schmodown singles winner, and the ultimate Schmodown team winner. And uh, if Christian wants to hang out and you know, <laughs> pretend that he's a champion and not the commissioner for a little while longer, that's fine. But I'm confident we'll meet again. As you start to tell yourself, Sam, that you are the person of destiny, once again, the X Factor is going to be me. And I'll keep this belt and I will let Thad be commissioner for as long as he has to be because my fire has been ignited one more time. And if I gotta take you the glorious one out to do it, I'm gonna do it. And JTE can't spell. <laughs> and
now we're back here on the main desk for the main event of an incredible Schmodown Spectacular. And I am joined not by Christian Harloff. He's off doing something else at the moment. I am joined by, in my book, two winners today. One a real winner and one the winner of a great participation trophy. How about the real winner first? Miss Emma Fife, ladies and gentlemen, is It's here. great to be here up on awesome the desk for won. the main event. This is exciting it's, stuff. It is. It's been it's been a very good day for me, and uh, I'm I'm glad to cap it off here at the desk with you two gents. Well, certainly you, Mark Ellis, Thank and you. jury's kind of out on Ken Napsock right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how to feel. I will say this for Ken. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Napsock is here, and you can, you know. But I think Ken. <laughs> They at least have Charming. To I don't know. I, I, I still like that, Ken that, as a person. I'm not a fan of the uh, Star Wars Iron heel Man turn that he's taken you, recently you and the, the character he's become. But, Sam Whitwer, but uh, sure, sure. You're, you're about 30 uh, pounds lighter without that belt. That phrase, at the buzzer, is what I'm focusing on there. I think it was beyond the buzzer, but <laughs> I'm happy to be on this side of the system helping to control the outcome of the match. And, but thanks for the kind words. Kind words for you as well. I, I didn't know adults wear suits that wanted the pizza dollar machine at the beginning with the claw. Thank it's a lot of skill to get, get that suit. delivered in an egg, <laughs> but it hatched and it gave birth mm -hmm. to this matchup that we have right now. I'm happy to be here. I respect what these two competitors have done. I respect this game. I respect what you did, Emma. Thank Big you. Big win. Uh, the system did work against Tom in that match as well, but if, if someone was to win, you're worthy, and I, I respect your win. All right, Ken, very nice backhanded, not really a compliment at all. <laughs> now we get into what everybody showed up for. We've had an incredible spectacular to this point. Five awesome matches, a lot of heat, a lot of controversy. Some of them even got physical, but now we get down to the belt of all belts, the singles championship of the movie trivia Schmodown, Sam Levine versus Christian Harlow. Should be a good match. Like and I said, I'm not entirely sure who I want. I'm going to give a slight, slight so edge I mean, to you Sam. You talk about a lot of great competitors here. Certainly Baby Carrots is mentioned, but Christian Harloff just sneaks up there as the commissioner of the league, and all of a sudden he just wins, and he keeps winning, and he keeps winning. And as far as being on a roll, I don't know that I've ever seen anything like this. He does. I mean, Christian Harloff had to have his nickname changed for a number of reasons. I mean, number one, he's no longer the commissioner, which was definitely a, a big <laughs> portion of it, but the real sort of deciding piece of his new nickname, the X Factor, is that he just keeps coming out of nowhere. Everybody always wants to bet against him. He's always up against these, these titan competitors, William Bibiani, Jeff Snyder, Dan Merle, and somehow, he pulls it out. Uh, Ken, he's known as the X Factor. X marks the spot where Sam Levine now finds himself. Also somebody who has been on a roll. I, there, there was a really tough loss that he suffered already here oh, today. Can he recover and get that hot hand that he's had back? That's the biggest question, Sam. Can he recover from the passion that's probably still coursing through his veins? But I, I sympathize with Sam because uh, in the past, 2015, 2016, when he competed here, the system worked against him. The wheel didn't quite work. The questions didn't fall with a where they should have been, and uh, he had some big losses against some tough competitors. But look at what he's done in 2017 to earn this spot, to get this spot. He's had to overcome the obstacles put before him by the league itself. That's right, five rounds, and when you look at that empty desk, you see all the carnage that's about to happen. We know that neither competitor is going to want for water. Sam with a red cup, and Christian with a bottle that his wife clearly bought him at Whole Foods. So <laughs> we are going to be ready to go here in just a matter of minutes. But uh, first, we got to get to the tail of the tape here. Ken Knapsack, tell us the strengths of these competitors. All right, the challenger, the glorious one, his strengths, uh, as you've seen, e even in today's contest, <laughs> uh, classics, 80s, Oscars. He's a very well-rounded uh, competitor, though. He's got a lot of strings. Christian Harloff does as well. Scores and soundtracks, Stallone movies, which is, is, is not see, on the wheel. it's not. more of an affliction than a category <laughs> strength, but it's all right. Um, and action movies and Star Wars as well. Don't sleep on them. When and it comes be creative, of song. course. No, I mean, you, you, Emma, you look at strengths and weaknesses in a championship caliber event. You want people to have things that they're used to. Some new things thrown in there. Star Wars is back on the wheel. It just we can't oh get away from it today. And why would you want to? <laughs> Who would have thought we would have had more just Star Wars <laughs> questions to ask? <laughs> Been 30 minutes of only Star Wars questions. But no, I, I mean, you look at two competitors like Christian Harloff and Sam Levine, and the thing that I think is going to make this match so interesting is their strengths are so different from one another. So it's a very 
sort of balanced yet imbalanced wheel. So I think a lot of it is really going to come down to that wheel spin. Ken, who you got in this match? Well, who I got I'm is gonna the give doctor a slight, working on John slight edge to Sam Levine. He's going to be a very popular I think it's going to be a good match. Uh, in this I think match, it's going to come down I, to the final question. I cannot look away from the X Factor, the former commish, Christian Harloff. Christian Harloff is the pick for Ken Knapsack. I will uh, remit myself. I, I, I'm not going to be uh, making a prediction because I clearly am Sam Levine's good luck charm when in studio, but also Christian Harloff, my boy from Schmoes. No, we started this whole thing together. He became the commissioner for a time and, and blew this thing into the next stratosphere. It's why I can afford such nice outerwear. <laughs> Emma Fife, who do you got? You know, even though Sam Levine has been on such a roll lately, and I think that teaming up with Drew McWeeny, even when he's not physically competing with him, even when he's competing on his own, Drew McWeeny has been a real boon to Sam's career here in the movie Trivia Schmodown. But I feel like I'd be doing myself a disservice to bet against Christian Harloff yet again. So I'm I'm gonna go X Factor. So despite the force ghost specter of Drew McQueen in this match, she is going Harloff, and I am going with the classiest logger this side of the Rockies. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Then let's get I'm ready, ready to Thank Schmoe down. Let's Schmoe down. Ken Napsack will be performing the introductions. Let's hear that silver throat. All right. We are ready. Introducing first, the challenger. He is the 2017 Ultimate Schmoe down singles and team tournament winner. He is the 2017 free for all winner with a record of seven wins, four defeats, and one KO. The inglorious one, Sam Love Sam will be an There he is. Looking very refreshed. Yeah, very, very humbled to the crowd there. I mean, you know, he's got a little, like, bowing action going on. It's, it's Classy move I on expected Sam's part. more of an edge when Levine came out, but he comes out cool, relaxed. This is the inglorious one that mm. we know from years past. Mm. My yeah. cocaine ran out about three hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> that also explains it. That's a fair reason right. to cite. And now, yeah. his opponent, yeah. representing yeah. Collider. Oh my god. And oh. Shmosto with a record of eight and three oh. with five KOs. He is the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown winner. My, my the reigning, defending, and undisputed movie trivia Schmodown champion of the world, the X Factor, Christian. There we go. Yeah, yes. You know what you've done. You know what you've done. Okay. The system will work against you. All right, guys. We're, listen, we we already had one physical altercation here today. We don't need another one. <laughs> I don't know if that was just force of habit. Now he realizes. I'm just a grown man drinking from a sippy cup. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> he is in fact putting his belt on the table in front of him. Harloff and Levine exchanging some sportsmanlike pleasantries. Harloff with his customary sunglasses. The hoodie might be new or it might be from his headshot in the year 2003. <laughs> <laughs> okay, competitor. 2001. In round one. Round each one. Competitor, the field is going to hear eight questions from eight different movie categories. Each question is worth one point. As soon as you hear the question asked, please write down your best attempt at the correct answer on the whiteboard in front of you. When we ask you to reveal your answer, please verbalize it into the microphone and show the whiteboard to the camera at the same time. You're going to have approximately 15 seconds to write down your answer before prompted to give your best guess. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. Christian Harloff, you are my dear friend and the favorite in this match defending your belt. Are you ready, sir? Ready. That sounded like a positive response to me. Sam Levine, how you feeling? Uh, good, real quick. You, all the questions in this are good? They're tough? <laughs> they're all, they're pretty tough. <laughs> okay, I, cool. I yeah, I'm ready to myself. go. I, uh, I don't look at it. Thad is the commissioner. <laughs> yeah, I will point out, Sam, that Christian has not seen these <laughs> questions just yet. Uh, uh, Ken Napsack and Emma Fife one. take turns administering the round one questions. Ken, without further ado, please lead us into round one. All right, guys, five rounds to finish. Round one, eight questions first from the category of comedy. In right. Dumb and Dumber, Lloyd accidentally kills a rare type of what animal with a cork? 
Yes, it is. I mean, it's a, it, that was a classic one. I once drank an entire cork in a bottle of wine. Five, four, well, three, two, and one. I don't remember. Hands down, Christian Harlow. Ah, this is wrong. Swan. That is incorrect, incorrect, Sam. They were sending a message. We killed one of their birds. They killed one of ours. An owl. <laughs> There was a rare snow owl, and Al is taken as a one-point lead emerges with Sam Levine. All right, question number two in round one in the category of dramas. What well-known actor was the director for the Susan Sarandon slash Sean Penn film, Dead Man Walking? Repeat the question. JT Again, in the usage. category of dramas, what well-known actor was the director for the Susan Sarandon slash Sean Penn film, Dead Man Walking? Gosh, I don't know. Dead Man Walking was my uh, nickname in seventh grade at the formal, the winter at, formal. Oh, at the winter formal. I, I want to know no how you said that for eighth grade. Yeah. Five, four, three, I never saw the film. I'm not familiar with the Dean. film. Wasn't it Sean Penn? It was not Sean Penn. Okay. Christian Hyatt Eastwood. It was Tim Robbins. All oh, right. Looking for Makes Tim sense. Robbins, no, also known as me. one of the pilots in Top Gun. All right, guys. Third question is in the category of fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy right. sci-fi. Who played Valerie, a.k.a. Red Riding Hood, in 2011's Red Riding Hood? Oh, picture her. Fun fact, it wasn't her grandma. You know what it was? What it was, was it? a goddamn wolf. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Spoiler. Shocking. Five, four, uh, three, two. I can picture the poster. One. Pens down, we go to Vision Harlow. Didn't Doesn't have. Have it Sam Levine to you. Is it Amanda Seyfried? It, it is. is. It is. Yeah. My brain is fried. Two. Christian <laughs> Harlow's done a lot of announcing today. I've got a Question big old goose egg so far. In the category of directors, who directed the 2006 romantic comedy The Breakup, starring Jennifer Aniston and Vince Vaughn? I mean, Christian said he did make sure these were tough questions. I've seen it a couple times, but I. Big, big bucket of popcorn when I first moved to Los Angeles. Five. I saw the hangover. Four. A story nobody cared about. Three. Fucking try. Two. <laughs> Christian acting like the dad that he Once is. Once again, I got Sam nothing. <laughs> this is probably very wrong. John Favreau? That, that is wrong. No. Kind of same. But uh, also did direct a Marvel Cinematic Universe film. It is Peyton Reed. Ah. Peyton Reed. That was not going to happen. Good old Pay Reed. <laughs> All right, fifth question. Fifth question comes in the category of action adventure. Action adventure. What veteran actor portrays Arthur in Kingsman, The Secret Service? I you know that. That was, uh, fish and chips. Mm. I don't fish do, and chips. I don't do it at all. Perhaps you what? should have some of your drink and not your cord's life. Yeah. And hey, we get down to five, <laughs> four, three, yeah. two. Repeat the question. One for Sam. It's two JT rules. All, all right. right. Repeated the question, category action venture. What veteran actor portrays Arthur in Kingsman, The Secret Service? Anyway, back to fish and chips. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you pro fish and chips or anti? Very anti. Mm. You got a five, a four, a three, two. JT is right here. One. <laughs> we are going to go to Christian Harlow. Mark Strong. That is incorrect. Ooh. Sam Levine. Michael Caine? It is Michael Caine. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, finally got one right. All right. <laughs> so, uh, a, a temperamental <laughs> Christian yes. Harloff. Sam Levine has only up 3-0, yeah. but it's a tough mound to get that first point. We'll see it if is. Christian can do it with the next category. It is. All right. Question number six, category of hey, animated. Hey, Tim Franco joining in the chat Disney's room. How are you doing, man? The Little Mermaid, what kind of animals are Ursula's pets? Yeah, we know Sam famous oh. He's um, not, a, not an animated guy, no. I mean, he's an animated he's guy in, in life, but he's not into animated films. It's too animated. Yeah. Not this one. We are going to go to a five, four, three. Guys, I saw this two, one when I was seven. One. Sam Levine, can you reconjure the magic from when you were a boy? Are they eels? They, they are. are. Hey! on the board. And Always trust in the little Tyler mermaid. Finally you gets know? A point. It may be a three-point yeah. game, Emma and Ken, but I think that was a much bigger point for Christian to get on the board and get on the right track than yeah. it was for Sam. Absolutely. No shit. <laughs> Guys, your seventh question comes in the category of new releases. New releases. Who plays Ryan Gosling's superior, Lieutenant Joshi, in Blade Runner 2049? 
This movie oh, I challenged the um, fucking validity um, 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 of this um, um, question. It's been in theaters for like three weeks. It's not my job to review movies. Uh, <laughs> it, the, the category is new release. Fine. If, it, if it makes if it makes you feel better, new release. I also have That's fine. I, I've brought this I up before. A question about a. Why am I doing New release. Writing. Five, four, three, damn it, two. One. I got nothing and again. In a question when the two Muppet judges spent 15 seconds <laughs> bitching instead of writing down an answer, what do they have in store for us, Christian? And Jared Leto. That is <laughs> no. no. Harrison Ford? Uh, no. Nope. We were looking no. for Robin Wright. Final question. Right. The category wow. for question, question eight is, is coming of age. At the mm. end of The Graduate, what Simon and Garfunkel song plays as our two young leads ride the bus away from the wedding? One can only hope our competitors have had time to see the movie The Graduate. Yes. <laughs> Just a guess. Because apparently but nobody I'm had time going to see with Mrs. Blade Robinson. Runner 2049. For one point I, will, eight. I will give you that. That's a very funny line, but it does not take away from the very valid claim Christian and I have. Uh, very valid claim is that you have three seconds left. Two, one, and we go to Sam Levine here first. Do you have the the sound answer? of silence. That is correct. Yes. Christian Harlow? Keep that one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Christian, did not ask. Uh, did not will not ask. accept right. the point that he may or may not have earned. Just two out of eight. That was a fantastic game. Round one here in the two out of eight. Attack your singles championship. We move on now to round two. Where round Sam two, bring out the wheel of death. As I say, Merry Christmas lead. to my good buddy Tim Franco, and, and once again, congratulations to you and Ashley. And Twelve different movie categories. Fun note to both competitors, announcers, and fans is that Spinner's Choice and Opponent's Choice are not going to be on the wheel for the singles championship. Each wheel wedge is a real movie category. Within there, you're going to find four questions that are each worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check the multiple choice, at which point the value of the question will be reduced to one point. Keep in mind, competitors, there is stealing available in round two, should the person who originally asked the question not know the answer. Sam Levine, you are the challenger, yet you find yourself with a four-point cushion. Would you like to spin first or defer to Christian Harwa? Uh, two things. The first is uh, I'm going to allow uh, the champ to spin first, but also I just want to point out that uh, even though I may physically be at the table without a teammate, the Godfather is always with me. <laughs> oh, wow. And I think that that like explains it. what just happened in round one. Yeah, actual. Uh, so he's a Funko figure instead of a Force Ghost, as we previously it. speculated. <laughs> All right, Harloff, spin, spin is in. Champion. Uh, you got, Ken, Emma, yeah. you know he's got to be looking for Star Wars, yes. and this could be very good in his favor. Oh, oh so classics, close. Classics. So close, man. Again. He does have a chance. He's right oh, there. Okay. <laughs> it was works. right there. Spin. Come on. Okay, spinning he's again. He's going to spin again. He wants to spin away from classics. I think that might be the yeah. toughest category for him, That's but it's sure. right next to Star Wars. Yeah. Doesn't I know. Not going to it's Star not, not going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Animated. 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 You know? And I, I will I like. point out. Chris He's got two daughters. He, well, maybe he knows a little bit. After the birth bit. of his second bundle of joy, he's seen a lot of animated movies by proxy of being That's a very true. good father. So we'll see how this serves him. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, Christian now has four questions from the world of animated movies. I will be administering the round two questions to both Christian George Harloff as well as Samuel Hercules Levine. Christian. Only my mother calls me that. Christian, <laughs> your first question. Name the only dwarf that did not have a beard in Disney's Dopey. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Dopey. Two points for Correct. Christian Harloff. Wow. Christian Harloff, three questions left. What 1998 movie was the first film released by DreamWorks Animation Studio? Shrek. Multiple choice. Is it A, Ants? B, The Prince of Egypt? No, uh, C, that would be Ants. Or D, Shrek? Ants. He's within one of Sam Levine. That is correct. Christian, your next question. Humpty Dumpty appears as an antagonist in what film set in the Shrek universe? Puss in Boots. Repeat the question. Humpty Dumpty appears as an antagonist in what film set in the Shrek universe? Multiple choice. Is it A, Shrek the Third, 
B Shrek Forever After, C Puss in Boots, D Shrek 2. I'm pretty Not sure. Like that is incorrect. Right. Sam Levine, do you have the answer? Shrek Forever After? That is also incorrect. Looking for Puss in Boots. Puss, Puss, Puss in Boots. That's my well known Shrek spinoff yes. that everybody wanted. And if I may say, that cat is just the cutest. Christian, you have one more question in the world of animated movies to close out your round two. Please, put me out of my misery. What classic actor voices food critic Anton Ego in Pixar's Ratatouille? Multiple choice. Is it A, Albert Finney, B, Richard Harris, C, Peter Mullen, or D, Peter O'Toole? Finney. That is incorrect, Sam Levine. Peter O'Toole. Give Sam Levine a yeah. point. Wow. And That's, uh, it is six to four in favor of Levine. Not yeah, the way you close. want to leave it after you get to no. answer. Three rounds left for Christian, and he is very good. One of the best competitors in the entire league at stealing yep. and opponents misses. So Sam Levine, without further ado, no, please no, give no, that no. wheel a spin. Play on Star Wars. It'll all be fine. <laughs> all right, big spin. All right, all right. Spin Sam spin is in. Like Sam Levine, you know he's a fan of classics. Yeah. He Prime is. movies, I think, are right in his wheelhouse. And he's, uh, go ahead and spin Sam. again, Sam. Animated was off the, off again, the board, Sam. so he gets re-spin. Right. So here comes the wheel. Spin coming in. If he's looking for classics, Ken, yeah. he found it when Christian spun away from it. Yeah. Now we're going to get to crime. crime. Crime movies. Sam Levine, how do you feel about crime? Let's do it. It's been, okay. It's been taken. Oh, all right. I hope that doesn't get taken out of context. <laughs> all right, Sam. Pulling up the crime document now. We have four questions for you. It's worth two points. And your question, number one is, in Pulp Fiction, what one word does Brett say that angers Jules? What? Two points for Sam. There it is. Your next question. Who plays Tony Montana's boss, Frank Lopez, in the 1983 remake of Scarface? Robert Lozier. Two more points for Levine. Mm -hmm. Robert Lozier. Ten to Sam four. Crime movies is not one of my strengths. looking for a steal with one of these last two questions. One of which is, in The Untouchables, what does Elliot Ness find at an attempted liquor raid? Go to five, four. Multiple. Go to that. Is it a gun? Is it B rats? C umbrellas or D drugs? Drugs. I don't know. Umbrellas. That's a point. That's, That's point. a point. <laughs> Seemingly pulled out of thin air. Ooh. Levine, feeling it here. And your last question. Round two. Brothers Andy and Hank Hansen devise a plan to rob their parents' jewelry store in what film released in the 2000s? No idea. As I take a look in the chat room, Ryan O'Toole is back. Is it a Welcome in. Joe. And B, Tim Frinkle asks, have you enjoyed the spectacular? Yeah, it's been fantastic, even though I've not been doing well at all. <laughs> That is incorrect. Christian, you have a chance to steal. Can I hear the multiple? Yeah. Uh, Certainly. Is it A, Killer Joe? B, Before the Devil Knows You're Dead? C, A History of Violence? I'm going to say D. Heist. Heist. Also incorrect. Right. Before the devil We're looking for the Before, before the, the devil, devil Knows You're Dead. Neither competitor dead just yet. But nope. Sam will no be idea. a seven-point gash. He's open on Christian Harloff as we progress to the betting round. Ken and Emma, your quick thoughts on the match so far. Well, you can see that maybe the champ is a little rattled from this, uh, a long day big performing. Big production. Big production today. But I think he has it in him. He's a competitor to the end. Uh, a little bit of a momentum swing, and he's back in this. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a little rocky start for Christian Harloff but I don't think we can completely write him off yet. But that being yeah. said, Sam Levine, he's he's keeping up his streak. Levine on a mission. Harloff, there's a reason why he has the belt in the first place. We move on to the bedroom. Sam Levine wants the belt. In this round, we are going to get one spin of the wheel. I'm surprised that Harloff is not doing lead, which is the challenge that well. Sam Levine. Uh, Whatever category that lands. But it's how he'd be doing a little bit better, but. They will each write down a number between zero and three. These are the amount of points that you're willing to wager on said category. You're going to hear a question from that category. If you get the question right, you get as many points as you wagered. If you miss it, you lose as many points as you wagered. Sam, 
please give that wheel one more spin now, this if afternoon. I, if I, I get to spin it more than once or no, no just, just once? once. You just once. Well, I mean, just the once. What I do. There you go. Spin is in yeah, for the betting round. Sam's not looking at that wheel. Yeah. The wheel has hurt him before. That wheel. Seen that go around a lot today. Mm -hmm. And we are crime right movies. Back. It's a crime. crime movies. And wouldn't you know it. Here's your question. In the world of before I give you the question in the world of crime movies, please <laughs> write down your wager and show it to Cobster. Right. This one's already written down his wager. Mm -hmm. I would bet just well, one point because again, crime movies is not one of my strengths. This question goes wrong for Sam. This could be a different thing. Could be. All right, and your question is in the we movie got. Collateral. Okay. Who plays LAPD detective Ray Fanning, who is hot on the tail of Vincent and Max? Okay. <sighs> scribbling furiously. It seems like they got some of the rust off yeah. Yeah. from whatever was afflicting both really competitors don't know. in round one, right. and they're ready to go. Looks like we don't even need to do a countdown. Pens are down. Uh, Christian Harloff, how many points did you wager? Three points. Sam, how many points did you wager? Also three. Okay, so Max bet on both. Christian, your answer? Mark Ruffalo. Sam? Mark Ruffalo. They both get that three points. Fun. There we go. Right. Making the scores look prettier. 14 to 7. And now, right. Ken, we move on to round four, which is a round that I know the style of this round almost gave you a victory against Sam Whitworth. The buzzer round, the yeah. speed round, who can be quicker on the draw? Yeah, that's that's the key. Sometimes you got to tie yourself into the force and just hope that the clock doesn't run out and a question is asked or something like that, you know? Uh, you just got to, you know, stick in it. Stick Emma, they're down. only going to get no. two seconds to once they buzz in to get the correct answer. And the way that this round works is... A question is going to be asked as soon as you hear it and you think you know the answer, please buzz in. Keep in mind, competitors, you don't have to wait until the end of the question. You think you know it earlier, buzz in. I would wait till the end. You live your life as close to the edge as you want. Mark Rowley's the line judge. As soon as he points to whoever got the correct buzz first, we're going to go to them. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. If you don't have an answer by that eye, you lose a point. If you get the correct answer, you win a point. Ken Knapsack will be administering the first two questions. Emma Fife, the next three. Christian, you ready? Ready. Sam Levine, you ready? Let's do it. All right, Ken, All right. without further ado. Who played taxi driving misfit Travis Bickle? Robert De Niro. That is correct, That's Sam right. Levine. That's seven. I need just another In second or two. What 80s comedy does Tom Hanks play detective Scott? Turner and Hooch. Dragnet. That is it's correct. not correct. For Turner and Hooch, so Christian loses the point. 15 right. to 6, the next question, Emma Fight. In 1990s, Home Alone, the McAllisters were traveling to what European? London. Paris. That, that is, is correct. Correct, 16 a point. to 6. Yes. And your last question, uh, sorry, your second to last question. What is the name of the character played by Johnny Depp in the Tim Burton film Sleepy Hollow? Ichabod Crane. Christian Harlow. Uh, that nope, is that's, uh, <laughs> you know, the, a lot of, there's a lot of F's that seem to be popular right. answers here today. Ichabod Crane, Crane is no. what we were looking for. So One last question US. in the speed round. So. If Christian Harlow does not get this question correct, we will have a knockout on the hands of Sam Levine. What was the first Batman movie to feature a score by composer Elliot... Sam Levine. Batman and Robin? Batman yeah, Forever. No, 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 that no, 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 no. That was two seconds. So you're right, you're right. It took, right. took too long. You're the answer right. was Batman, Batman Forever. forever. Uh, the answer was, uh, or we were looking for composer Ellie Goldthal's first Batman score. It's not a great score in my it's opinion. Fun. doesn't matter because Sam Levine didn't get the point. Yeah. So now it's 15 to 5. And with that early no. buzz in, Sam Levine has unwittingly opened a door to round five right. where Christian Harloff has <sighs> a shadow of a chance to catch up. Nothing more than for this to go to sudden death. <laughs> Let me be very clear. At the end of this day, I know Christian is dying for a sudden death match. You may get your wish in oh, wow. round oh, boy. five, where a belt could be changing hands. I hope Christian. Each competitor. No, at least does well. A series of numbers that range he's got from a one big hill to twenty. Hill to climb. And we need three big numbers from overcome. each of you. Sam, we're gonna get your numbers before Christian's because you do have a ten-point lead. Each number you give us corresponds to a movie category up here at the answer desk. Your first question is gonna be worth two points. Your next three. Your last 
five, there's no stealing in round five. There's no penalty for missing a question. Uh, Sam Levine, when you are ready to count, your numbers are? Eight, three, and 12. Thank well, you so right, much, the guys. crowd getting back into it here. Harloff, your numbers? Uh, seven, three, and one. We oh. cannot go three, three. unfortunately. Oh, yeah, three, three. Seven, one, and 18. Seven, one, and 18 right. for Christian. Okay. All Christian, right. you're going to be hearing some questions first. And if you get these right, we're going to keep asking you questions. If you miss any of these, Sam Levine will be the winner by TKO. Christian, you picked number seven for your first two-pointer. And that is in the category of war movies. Oof. Okay. Your two-pointer is. In the movie Jarhead, who played the lead, Anthony Swafford, a sniper in the U.S. Marine Corps? Don't know. Two points for Harlow. All right. All right. All right. Still alive. Uh, Christian, number one is the next one you picked, and that from the category for your three-pointer, Horror Thriller. <laughs> okay. And your question is, named after a flower, what is the name of Allison Williams' character in the movie Get Out? Lily. Is it easy? Oh. And your winner! Wow. And That was okay, tough. Well, the answer was Rose. It Rose. sure was. Rose. Get okay. out and a new champion bloom. Sam Levine. Came back on the chat room the now. the between these two competitors. Wow. Levine, yeah. happy to have the belt. Christian wow. Harlow, it might almost be like a, a relief. A weight has been lifted on his shoulders. Yeah. And ever so right. willingly over to Sam Levine. That might be what it comes down to later on. But I know the competitive spirit in Harlow. Sure. Sure. He's got to be tearing down some walls. That was a tough game. I mean, himself, but what about Sam? Unfortunately, Harlow is seriously. I mean, no longer it was competing. Such a, it was a very uh, narrow loss that he had to the Patriots early today, and I think that he came in again. hungry to this match. No. And it in the future, but it sounds like he wants to retire. So, yeah. you know, out. Ken, the thing about this is that nothing and is mad ever props to Sam Levine. That was a tough fair battle. Question may or may but. not be to a particular competitor. All yeah. of movie trivia showdown is subjective, including the fact that Sam Levine got to have a, a warm-up round, if yeah. you will, a very tense one in the team match. While Christian Harloff producing this whole spectacle and announcing most of the matches up here with me, do you think that affected him right down to the wire? Uh, I, yeah, I absolutely think so. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, Adam from Almond Sideways, welcome. back. Back uh, that's says, what, that's what is the you, twist with Miss Movies? Uh, she and, uh, it just wrote off in a car with Mike Kalinowski. Um, so it, it, are they teaming up or what's going on? Um, she's not no longer champion. part of the Misfits. Uh, she said goodbye to Jay Washington and wrote off with Mike Kalinowski. You know, I think that um, so that's going to be an interesting thing going forward. He is willing to put in the work to become the champion in the first place and to maintain that belt. I mean, that man will comb over every little detail of a movie, searching for any sort of little indiscrepancy he can possibly find. He watched 30 animated movies in a week just for practice. <laughs> just so I I think we we may see the Inglorious One hold that belt for a while. Well, we're going to see the Inglorious One with the belt. We're going to have an interview with both Sam and the loser, Christian Harloff, the former champion with our own Mark Riley. Then we are going to come back here, and Christian and I will say thank you and good night to all of you great fans out there for checking out the Spodown spectacular and ending 2017 with a bang. Mark Riley, take it away. What's up movie trivia Schmodown fans? I'm here at the Schmodown Spectacular with your new all-time Schmodown champion of the world, Sam Levine. My God, man. Thank you. I hope it is that was a tough match. I hope I never lose this again. It's, because, it's, uh, it's an amazing thing to see how you started. Yeah. We actually started in a match in January. Yes. And from that match, to where we are now, you have run Good the luck, table Tim. in an impressive way. I'd love how to see you, you guys right get now the belt. Holding that belt, I know how it feels. How do you feel? Uh, I feel, I feel fantastic. I wish more than anything I could have Drew McWeeny with me, also holding up belts for the team title. But that's okay. I mean, we missed it as Adam is going to be recording his worst of 2017. 
Have fun uh, with that, man. I, I will be doing mine later in the week. So uh, probably really like Wednesday or thereabouts. So I'm looking forward to that. But as far as the singles, um, I mean, uh, the, the truth of the matter is, I read the online, uh, the, the, the web page, the Facebook group, and I know I came into every one of my singles matches as an underdog. Yes, he did. And I agree with that thinking. I was absolutely looking forward to seeing, seeing you compete in season five, and Tim. For me to be standing here, you know, I've always got your back. Man. Had to align in an incredibly magical way, and and for looking the forward to seeing Rob and, and Vesa honestly, back in is season five as well. At this, I know the guy knows his movie trivia, and I feel like I was playing a, a bit of an injured opponent today. He's been on his feet since eight in the morning, screaming at people, calling matches, looking at questions, loading up wheels. Uh, so I don't know if I'd have, if I'd have beat him by like you know a point or two, I could have been like ah oh, no it was close, but I did kind of destroy him. So so I take back what I said. I really beat the crap out of Christian, <laughs> and I'm gonna really enjoy that. It might not be as sweet as beating the Patriots, but uh, you know here's the thing, oh, Sam. Yeah. You do say those things about Christian. He's been here. Uh, a, a long time he's been doing this uh you know he is the he was the current champion right. however you did go through and do a five round matchup with the patriots with your partner drew mcweeney that I still took can't a believe lot the out patriots of you won, what did you summon within your bones to get here where you are now oh i drank another red bull okay so that's good if the good people at red bull would like to yeah. send me a case on account of the promotion my address is probably listed somewhere online. Killers don't <laughs> come to my house. Right. Well, Sam, th th this year started with you competing with me. Yes. And then it, that led into a a gauntlet of some of the top competitors in the Schmodown. It did. And you kept winning. And when you entered the Ultimate Schmodown tournament, yeah. Yeah. did you go into it thinking that you had a chance? Did you think that you knew you were going to win this thing? What were your thoughts walking into this? Because you right. are now the last man standing with a belt on your shoulder. Tell me about the process. I will tell you. So when you and I played our, our first match of the year. One of the best matches I, I think I've ever played I in. still refer to that. Even though I lost, I still refer to it as my favorite match so far. One of my favorite matches of I, all time. I thought you and I were so perfectly evenly matched. We were really going point for point. It came down to a one-point victory in your That's favor. Right. And I have no problem oh, yeah. with the way it shook out. The Patriots out. are totally and legit. That definitely um, helped with the I mean, confidence level. God, they've of, had the belts right, for a I year. I guess I belong here. Because, I mean, you guys um, are you know, something to I, behold. I like to hate when them we, just the, this no, because I want somebody else to take the belt, best. and really I'm not a fan of their characters. I'm sure they're great so dudes then, uh, in real life. The free for all happened, um, and, uh, and I but really, I drew a very lucky it's number. It's time for but some other team to knock I them down. Out, I did clear no, out maybe an late to the party. On my own. Who knows? I did face four other competitors, and then Tom Dagnino. Um, but uh, but then I used that uh, that win to challenge Dan Merle, the then singles title holder, and. Uh, and I, again, it's not a match I won, but I went the distance with the champ. I, I proved to Apollo Creed that I belonged in the ring with him. And so honestly, that was all I needed. But when I, uh, when I started doing the Ultimate Schmodown Tournament, my goal was just do better than you did last time. And last time I lost to Mark Baby Carrots Ellis on the first round because, well, let's just say the 10 second countdown clock that was brand new to me in the middle of the match was a little jarring. But other than that, I just wanted to do better than that, and uh, and also I really did want to beat John Roca. <laughs> well, and let's just talk about that. Again. Yes, it, it feels good beating Roca, doesn't it? Oh, and God, it you did so do good. that. You beat Christian Harlock. Yeah, I, I went top ten Shmoda, to knock out the, the Patriots, world. and keep competing. Oh, they do what have a shot. Uh, it's going to be top ten uh, versus well, right top now, that. I'm going to change the shirt. Um, Okay. Uh, on no, account I think of top 10 will a have a legitimate chance of winning and then here, battling the Patriots, and so and, uh, it could I'm happen early in the new season. Going Let's to come so. back and defend this title as soon as possible because uh, I really, really want to make sure that people know this might not have been an accident. And Ryan no, O'Toole asks not what's going to ha Sam happen to Robin, been, you've been uh, Robert Meyer Burnett uh, now that he's no longer part of the Lions fan. Who knows where he's going to end up? If he's going to just you know, show with the game. do singles and remain in inner geekdom or if he's going to join up with thank another team. Thank you, Ryan. Who knows? We are going to now go to Christian Harloff, the unfortunate loser of tonight's match for the Ultimate Schmodown Championship. Let's go right there. What's up, Movie Tree? There's Schmodown fans. Mark Yodi Riley here with the unfortunate loser of tonight's 
Ultimate Schmodown Championship Matt Christian Harloff. How do you feel, man? I know you you got up there, you've had a long day, and that match did not go the way you wanted. I've been there. How do you feel right now, dude? It's a weird it's a weird mix of emotions because at the one at the one hand, you, you don't want to lose like that ever. I mean my my yeah, brain that, that was, was rough, mush. man. But and that's taking nothing away against the champion. He deserved it. Um, Sam Levine had an equally exhausting match in his team match. Um, he, he was he was great in that match, and he was great in our match. Just you know, it was it was exhausting. But uh, there's no doubt about it. So, but I I would have liked to have put up a better fight because again, you know, I had a nice run, and the run of five straight victories to lose like that on my own. It's just something that I'll you know sucks well you know you were on uh, a kind of a revenge tour you wanted yeah. to take out some of the someone else i gotta add to the list i guess no oh, yeah yeah now you got somebody else <laughs> no, but you no. know you took out makuga I'm you, done. Took, I'm you, done. you took out bibiani yeah. but you got here for yeah, you could tell that christian was just exhausted by this point yeah. the um, has ever seen no that, like they mentioned the he'd been running around since 8 a.m calling five other matches took a, a, a big I mean, lead on you well i mean rough. you know i think actually yeah the first round for sure i mean like, i think i had one question right in the entire damn thing that's the low i, I had never done that before they my average is like five or six and to get one is it's obviously the worst I've ever had uh there was some i knew a lot of the questions after hearing them i knew a lot of the questions um but i just couldn't pull them i couldn't pull them didn't know the blade runner one i haven't seen that movie so i stick with sam on that one i just i but what are you gonna do um well, yeah, no, I should have no, gotten the Blade Runner away. one, one of the best now, films of the year. Back, but yeah. and not I just have to call that. all these matches and have a rematch, and sit there again and yeah. do it again. Would you do it? Nah, I mean that's not. Again, that's excuses. And it's like there's a, uh, it's it's my head was messed up, but I knew that that's what was going to happen. I knew I was going to call the matches. I knew that that Sam, who has had a legendary run, is who I was going up against. So I chose to say yes to that. I signed that contract with that, and I and um, here we are. And here we are. I know what it feels like to lose the belt. I know what it feels like to win the belt. And I know you've been there. A lot of competitors, a lot of the fans are saying you're on the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know about after this match. <laughs> Even after this yeah, match, my we'll friend. See. Even yeah. after this match, right. everybody has a bad match. But you're here now. Do you have anything to say to Sam Levine and for the future of the Schmodown? No, nothing. I mean, nothing to Sam Levine except congratulations. Yeah, I echo um, what Rhino Tool says there's here. No good luck next season, Tim. Like also, good luck to Rob and Vanessa. Give them my best. I think, uh, I think those guys it's going to be will, fun. Uh, those guys will, uh, What's this more on what? Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Yeah. No one can hear you because the microphone's not. Yeah, the microphone. <laughs> Forrest Gump looking. Yeah. Yeah. Adios, loser. Yeah, okay. Good. Yeah. How'd your manager will go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As in Draco. He's an asshole. You know that. He's not the best. No, he's um, not the best. I don't know, man. Look, uh, congratulations to Sam. Um, look, this person's doing this. This person's doing that. I, I'm proud of the event, but we'll see what's next. Well, you did throw out there the challenge is. to that. Hey. Well, speaking of. What's hey. up? Oh, dude, that was a that was a rough match. I know. Well, I'm glad you're back because what I will say is, so Thad is back. We had a grim you saw in the beginning of the match. Um, so now, because of uh, in the beginning, I did lose the title. Had I not, Thad, I wanted to thank you for everything you did, and because of it, I will be taking back the reins of commissioner Wait, uh, uh, starting in season five. Start. Uh, we talked. We talked. What we talked about was we talked about six months. That was six months. That was six months. If I was the champion. No, but. But I don't have the championship. Anymore, no, so I'm going back. I mean, no, I I have the contract right here. It's, it says why they added in his contract, man. It says you forfeit all rights here and within, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, it, this says this says I, I'm going to be the commissioner for six months. Why? Why would you want to do that? I'm it's, giving. I'm get, letting you off the hook. This is. I'm kind of enjoying it. This is fun. I mean, I. This is. You're snaking me out. I gave you the I'm job. Not, you're going to snake me I'm out. I'm not snaking you out. I just. I, I was told this was going to be a six month contract. What's and next? I'm, What's next? No, I'm, just give me the. I mean, you, you, you're gonna, you're gonna hold me that contract. I, yeah. It, <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. You saw. I mean, you signed it. Your, your signature's right here. You signed. You signed it, and. I don't know. That actually was my signature. But I do see a signature there. He so. Ran away, you fucking weasel. And he walked away. So Christian, <laughs> are you saying that you have to uh, take on Thad? In order uh, to I don't get know the what, commission, uh, uh, commissioner about, status back. I don't, I don't know about taking him on, but it's. But I, I don't want to compete anymore. But like. Uh, I give the guy. I give the. I mean, I, I, people suck. <laughs> people do suck, Christian. And here we are. Yes, people do desk. suck. Go back to the desk. Uh, this is Mark Yodi Riley here with the Ultimate Schmodown Spectacular Part Two.
This was a great time. The competitors, congratulations to everyone, and we'll see you next time. Riley out. We are back now to close up shop here on not only the Spronaut Spectacular, but an incredible game changing season here in 2017. I'm here with, uh, unfortunately, today, my good friend, the loser of this match. It almost seemed like a weight was lifted off you when you lost about the Sam Levine, but I know you got to be disappointed. What do you think happened? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm also disappointed that Thad Williams went uh, against his word and said that he was, you know, he told me that uh, because he's put that little bullshit thing in his contract that now I guess he's still going to be commissioner, so I won't be commissioner and I don't have the belt. So that, that works out nice. And you look uh, like a hobo now. I mean, you I really got to rebuild. <laughs> it's true. But uh, now the match, I mean, first of all, everything uh, I take my hat off to Sam. He's, he's Sam, yeah. Sam, I can now, I, is a good, I can call Sam him deserved friend, it, man. He's also, uh, he's a good champion. And, um, and just, there's no excuse, as I said in the in the interview. My my brain was definitely rattled, but um, but it's still that you don't you don't go into a battle like that with a guy that can do that. I mean, his brain was just as rattled. He went through a five round team title match that was devastating, um, and I didn't I didn't show up. And he's the champ. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a tough thing, and I will defend you to the death. I mean, you're a guy that had to you you, you had uh, the birth. Congratulations of another daughter, new addition to the family. You just got back from fraternity leave about a month and a half ago. You weren't able to see a lot of movies. You retired from announcing all day. Meanwhile, right. Sam Levine, all he's doing is cashing residual checks from his modern family appearances. <laughs> so he has time to really practice all of these movie trivia questions. No. But you look at what we, yeah. and particularly you as the commissioner of this league to a point in 2017, have been able to accomplish. Sure. I'd like to get your thoughts on the whole movie trivia schmodown, the league, the fandom, everything that has blossomed here in 2017. Uh, I'm super proud of everything that has gone on so far and this is a great way to close it out a lot of big things happen here and you have to thank all the competitors you have to thank the fans for sure I um, mean it's something I wanted to do earlier that I didn't do one of the things that has really helped grow the league and a lot of them are in the crowd today or have been the people who have done the reactions to these videos you got you got channels. how about a hand for the reactors you got channels like we've seen we've seen late to the, we've seen late to the party they came out here and competed um, I, I every every week I watch the, the, the great people over at take three um, there's this and Dale the dude all these people that have come out here and do and do this um, it is it is really it's a lot and it, it means a lot to watch the reactions to see people get invested in those we're doing something we're putting on a show and and some entertainment here so I love the way that it closed out um, you know and again was well, great season looking title, forward to a guy like Sam Levine I'm season okay. five well, I'm coming up in 2018 somebody that I beat once upon a time you, you know you gotta aven avenge me <laughs> well I, I look back on this and I I, I think that the one person we have to thank more than anybody else is you for all Absolutely. of this creation and getting everything there. I mean, you know, like I said, I didn't used to be able to afford such nice threads and such classy beer, but thanks to this league and everything that we've been able to produce together and with your leadership, we have that in 2017. Looking right. forward to a great year next year with you, buddy. Well, I will say one thing, because people have been asking, you know, it's like, after, because there is a lot that I do still, and even though Thad's running the league. When um, is Baby Carrots coming back? Well, I know it's I on mean, the tip of your tongue. Well, when us, <laughs> but I, what I will say is this, um, if people are asking, is that going to be your last match? It was going to be until uh -oh. Thad stepped in and, and cheated me out of what he said. So I want to challenge Thad next season what? to oh. a one-on-one -on -one match. A one-on-one -on -one match. The commissioner is not aware of this. One on one, a one-on-one -on -one match with Thad Williams, and if I win that match, I want the commissioner title back. Nice. Yeah, you know, I thought that six great matches nice. and a lot of entertainment in between were enough, but no, Christian challenging Thad Williams. If that match is all Huey Lewis in the news songs, I do not like your odds. But if it's about movies, I think Christian Harlow might be the commissioner sooner rather than later. Well, all right, guys, thank you very much. How about our new inner geekdom champion, Jason Inman. Yeah, Justice Inman. Well deserved. You've got the winner of the manager bowl, Emma Fife. Emma Fife, Fife was fantastic. I'm so glad that she won. The new Star Wars champion, Sam Whitwer. You can boo it, but they deserve a round of applause here. <laughs> the reigning team champion, still the Patriots. I gotta boo that. Gotta they boo them, it. but gotta it. give them props for being top champions for over a year now. That's fantastic. Spot. How about it for top 10? Top 10. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I had to go him into that one. And the new movie trivia. Oh, I agree, Tim. That Star Wars champion match was phenomenal. The inglorious one, Sam Levine. Big 
massive hand for all of our champions and our competitors here today, as well as our incredible studio audience. Everybody here at Collider Studios for working so hard to pull yeah, you, this. Yeah, you got to boo the Patriots, course, but you know I still give them props because sure you guys they're check out totally the movie, legit. They had the belt for over a year as well as at this point. Rundown um, on iTunes. Check out all eventually the reign is going to end, but until then, they are definitely a force to be reckoned with. I mean, they definitely know their stuff. Brand new season. Season five will have the number one contenders match between Mike K.O. Kalinowski versus Little Evil JTE versus Rachel the Crusher Cushing. Ooh. We'll see you next season, wow. guys. Thank you very much for joining us on The Spectacular. <laughs> and to all a good night. Man, that was something else. Yeah, and who saw Andreco? Team up with Emma Five. Who, who saw that one coming, man? Emma's definitely not done recruiting other people, Ryan. She is building a, a huge faction. I, I'm excited to see what what she has up her sleeve for season five. Yeah, the the production on Spectacular and even the growth this season. You no, know, since Spectacular won a year ago. To what they are now. I love the changing graphics, I love the more professional look. I mean it's really turned into something that's a lot of fun and you know something that I look forward to every week. And an ad, an ad for the app, which we've seen a million wow. times. I'm not going to go through that again. Uh, yeah, that was the spectacular. It's been a long day. No, six fantastic matches. Uh, the only outcome that I'm not too thrilled about is that the Patriots are still the team champs. But you know, as I've been saying all night, you got to give them props because they know their stuff. They've been champs for a year for a reason. Um, you know, hopefully somebody can take them down next season, um, whether it be top 10 or team action or late to the party or whatever, man. Um, hopefully somebody defeats them sooner rather than later. Um, thank you again, everybody that's joined in the chat room today. We had Russell Howell. We had Adam from Almost Sideways. Right now, Ryan O'Toole has been here most of the day. Tim Franco joining in for this match. Uh, Sir Deadpool, that crazy guy, the dude. So many people joining in. It's been fantastic. I always look forward to hanging out with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to Season 5 and doing more of these play-along reaction videos. Um, it's It's been fun, but it's it's been a long day. Uh Fun way to spend Christmas Eve, because I had the day off and didn't have any other plans. You no, know, all my family's away, and I did get my Christmas present, as I mentioned earlier. I bought myself the Stream Deck. 
uh, which is a lot of fun. Should make my live streams a lot easier to switch between different graphics and turn things on and off and, you know, whatever. Um, so get a little bit more professionalism that way. Uh, Merry Christmas, you guys. Uh, if you celebrate Christmas, if you don't celebrate Christmas, you no. Know, happy holidays. Enjoy the spirit of the season. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, Tim's going to be checking out my other play-alongs tonight. Um, thank you guys so much. It's been a fantastic year for me personally. Um, a lot of technical issues with my channel and everything else, plus finding time to be consistent. Um, but look for a lot of great things in 2018, including more of these Schmodown play-alongs. These are a lot of fun. Um, also, I will, will be doing a Sunday live show um, every week. Um, maybe starting in January, but certainly after the Super Bowl. Um, that Look forward to that. Um, yeah, I, I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. Did like six hours of Schmodown stuff, plus a couple of other things that will be on the channel here shortly. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much as always for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and until next time, I will see you at the movies. Bye-bye.